Hey writers, and welcome to this week's writing prompt. And today, what we're going to be focusing on are dreams. Do you remember your dreams? Have you ever woken up from either a really vivid nightmare or maybe a really good dream and still remembered bits and pieces of it in your mind as if it were real? Do you wake up maybe feeling that feeling that you were feeling in that dream and sort of carry it with you through the rest of your day, whether it be positive or negative? Or do you not remember your dreams at all? Do you wake up with no recollection of them? Maybe a fleeting moment that disappears by the time you've fully awoken and they're just a sort of subconscious part of you. I think that dreams can be a really interesting thing to explore because they're sort of thought of as this, you know, culmination and combination of a lot of different things that you might be going through in your life or a lot of different feelings that you may be experiencing boiled down in really surreal and abstract ways. You know, for instance, there's a lot of ideas and dreams of these really vivid, really, you know, dramatic events happening to you or, you know, things that happen that could never happen in real life that defy even natural laws, maybe. But they still feel very real in that moment, even if by the time you wake up, you're able to sort of shake it off and get on with your day. So how does this relate to writing, for example? Well, Sometimes, you know, if for folks who are wanting to remember their dreams, they start what's called a dream journal, which is basically exactly what it sounds like. You know, whenever folks are writing a dream journal, they wake up from the dream and then they try to write down as much of the dream as they remember before it starts to disappear into their conscious mind. And the thought is, is if they keep doing this, over time, they will start to remember more and more of their dreams and start to maybe decode what some of it could mean to them or, you know, what some of it could be their mind telling themselves that maybe they need to listen to. But even beyond that, in fiction, I think dreams can be a really interesting tool as well because just as how in reality we're sort of again, boiling these down into very surreal and abstract sort of compositions, I think that we can do the same thing for the characters that we want to explore as well. You know, think about a specific character in a story that you've written or maybe writing right now, and think about the type of dreams that they might have. Think about, you know, what they might think about in their subconscious mind, whether it be something personal or, you know, say if it's a character in like some post-apocalyptic world or something. Maybe it's some sort of environmental thing that we're not even aware of, that we don't even think about ourselves. But by exploring this, you can get to the heart of the matter of what some of these characters are feeling and experiencing without necessarily being bound to the laws of realism and sort of, you know, wanting to keep your story grounded in a way. With dreams, you can explore the surreal and have it still feel very real. So that leads us to our writing prompt for this week. And that is simply, if, you, if you're the type of person that remembers your dreams, why not try writing out a dream from when you wake up sometime? And, you know, see how much of it you can remember. See how much of it makes sense. A lot of times we don't remember our dreams, like, in order of how they happen or as a full piece, but rather bits and pieces and moments and feeling within those moments. But, again, even though it's just a dream, they can feel very real, and these feelings can still be very real, despite these things not actually happening to you in real life, if that makes sense. So what I want you to do for this writing prompt is to, if you don't, if you're not the type of person that remembers your dreams, then, you know, maybe try writing one from the perspective of a character. Or if you just want to have complete fun with it, try making up a type of dream and really get surreal with it. You know, if you ever notice how maybe you're flying in your dream, but you can never fly in real life, you know, why not add a little bit of that weightlessness to it and see how it feels, see where it takes you. If you are the type of person that remembers your dreams or at least little bits and pieces of it, try writing a little bit of it when you wake up and, you know, piece together what you remember of it and then maybe try incorporating it into a fuller piece, you know, incorporate the dream and turn it into a full short story. 
So that's what this writing prompt is going to be about this week. It's focusing mostly on dreams. Either try writing about your own dreams, or if you're not the type of person, again, to remember them, try writing about a character's dream, or see about making one up altogether. But just really allow yourself to explore the surreal and still have it feel very real. That's all I have for you this time around. And I hope you're staying healthy. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. And I hope you're having fun with some of these prompts. I hope you're getting off to a good start of 2021. And I'll see you in the next one.